Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we have got all our mechs repaired and we have jump systems to Kalinas. Took us 12 days to get here, which wasn't too bad. Let's have a look at the map here real quick, just so you can get an idea where we are right now. I realized the other day that we haven't really had a look at the map. So um, we started over here, moved our way along, came up here, came back, and we're just sitting right here right now. I don't want to get too far. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter how far north we go. I was kind of hoping at some point um, there would be more uh, action from the clan homeworlds along here, but I guess because we're kind of in offline mode, uh, this really isn't going to happen very much, but that's fine. So, um, we're here at Kalinus right now, and there's a bunch of contracts here. If we go to the command center. We got a couple of lower contracts here. Uh, mech fact factory we're going to do today, which I think we could probably do. It's capture base, one skull. It's against the clans. So, this should be really fun. Uh, and then there's a few others here that are uh, against non-clan, like Coalition here. And there's a few that are down here that we can take as well. So we're going to jump right in, take Mech Factory, and get this sucker started. So let's negotiate. Uh, our mechs haven't changed all that much. We're going to go full salvage on this one. we still got a bit of time before the end of the month. Actually, why is the Centurion... Is this... Oh, right, it's the upper arm that we're missing. Upper right arm. Yeah, that's right. We've got the damaged arm on this guy, but we can't really do anything about it right now. We don't have anything to replace it with, so I'm not really that concerned about it. So we'll just leave it for now. Um, and we're all ready to go, so we're going to deploy and get this done. Okay, here we go. Not really thrilled with the map we got. But... Not much we can really do about this. So, wow. hey, this place seems... it sure is scenic, buddy. All right, so they got some light max up here. So if you've not played this map before, they got four turrets, one, two, three, four. They've got a pretty commanding good view of this area here. Okay view of this area, but if we come up behind this hill, we should be fine. Now what normally happens is you take on the lance of guys that are guarding the base. And then another lance comes over here. They usually spread out some a couple of guys here, a couple of guys here. So we're going to move up this way and stay out of their turret's visual range. And hopefully we can get uh, get lucky here. So we want to draw out their mechs first. Looks like we got a couple of them here. Okay, so I don't know if these guys are their medium guys or not. Let's get Pylon moving up. We can get eyes on. Let's do that. Let's find out where we're up against here. So it looks like a white and a locust. Yeah, it looks like both of these guys have moved. 660 armor. 760 armor. That's a lot of armor. But we already knew, knew that about these guys, so... I'm gonna go into the trees here. Thinking we're probably gonna have a better chance shooting against this guy, so we're gonna shoot on him first. Okay, not bad of a start. Put 60 points damage. Yeah. Nice. Let's get in here. See if we can get the Ultra 10 on this guy. 29% will take it. Nice. Two hits. Took the arm off. Excellent. Okay, so that's a good start for us. That could be a heavy mech. So they're reserving their lights. Got it. Stay and put them out. Okay, now, if you don't want to get double turned by their light mechs, 
uh, and this is something that you don't want to do is to make sure you reserve back to turn one that way you're offsetting the movement of these guys otherwise they're going to wait for us to go and then they'll move and then they'll move again so you definitely want to make sure you um, take it back to turn one so you're offsetting each other's moves and then their lights will all go so you're they don't all get two turns against you and then what you want to do is what I like to do anyway is find my lowest what do you need? Um, evasive mechs and move them first and the reason why I like to do that is that you can that's 27 from there um, hopefully force them to fire against the, the faster guys up front I'll do what I can. and let's shoot on this guy here Well, we couldn't get lucky twice in a row, but nicely done. So it's a 55 tonner. See, they're going to try and double turn their, their light mechs, right? Which is fine by me. They want to double turn them, go right ahead. But what I don't want is for them to double turn without us moving somewhere in between. So we're going to dump everything on this guy. Now this guy's not the threat right now, and I know that. But right now he's open, he's easy to hit, we're going to take those chances. See like this guy back here can really only see this guy, so he's going to shoot on him. And with nine chevrons of evasion, chances are of him hitting is pretty nil. So recoil's next. So now we know that at least one of these light mechs has to go. Right? One of these guys has to move next turn. Or this turn. Once again, we're not shooting on this guy because chances are almost, almost nil. But we're going to shoot on the guy that we know we can hit. Uh, we're going to fire everything. Okay, two hits. That's actually really nice at 27%. Now one of these guys has to choose to go. I'm hoping it was the yeah, I was hoping it was the white. Yeah, they know the threat. Good to go. So 48% chance to hit this guy. 61% chance from the back. And we're going to take it. We're going to have lots of evasion. Confirm. If we're just shooting on him normally, it's going to be really hard to hit. And I know... I'm still reading enemy yeah, contact. please stop, Darius. I'm talking. The area you can Darius, I'm talking here. And you made me miss that attack. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, I know we're revealing our back slightly here. It's fine, though. Uh, because we've got good chevrons for evasion. Yep. So we've got like seven chevrons of evasion here right now. And these guys have already gone. So this guy's not going to be going before us. Because we can we can move this guy first. So their two lights are going to go first. And then we're going to be moving pylon. So we don't have to worry about the two heavies. The heavier guys attacking him. This guy is so focused on our main mech over here. Our centurion. We had the same in the last battle too. So my goal is to try and keep the Centurion at longest range it can possibly be at. Yep. So now, once again, to avoid a back shot, we're going to come over here. And we're going to move out into the open, open ground here, uh, only because it gives us a better chance to hit. I mean, it's about the same here, but that's a back shot. Well, you know what? That's a back shot. We're turned sideways. Let's take this attack here, I think. Moving out. Oh, far torso that time. Yeah, he's crippled in the back. And recoil is going to follow that up. So once again, now, now that we're into the second turn... 
you can see how we've negated their double turn movement by just pushing back to one. And their light mech is almost gone now. Right? So this guy's having a hell of a time at the moment. 40 left internal. So, yeah. recoil. Let's see how far we can get up here. Can we get to this guy's backside? I don't know if we can. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to move forward. We're going to stay in the woods. We'll take the extra plus one to hit, but we're giving them a plus one as well. Jager Mech 2C, Goss HA-30s. Doesn't have a lot of armor, though. Not too worried about this guy. 633 of 720 armor? Yeah, okay. We want this white, so we're going to fire on him. See, now this guy's, in, this guy's up Shit's Creek now, right? He had to move on turn... Well, he didn't have to move on turn four. But their thought was they wanted a double turn movement, right? So that's what they tried. Yep. And now he's got to wait for us to, to shoot him and kill him. There's nothing he can really do about it. Okay, moving up to here. Let's get this guy off the field. Going to try for a CT hit on him. Headshot, maybe? How much has he got left here in the front? 93. Let's go for the front and see what happens. Well, not too bad, I guess. Going to turn this way. Let's give him the arm that we don't really care about. And we're going to fire everything on this guy's CT. Hopefully we can finish him up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, to me, that guy was the biggest threat. Uh, not because of his armament, but because he generates about seven or eight chevrons of evasion, like, every turn. This guy, to me, is not that much of a threat. Okay, so the locust has got to go now. Okay, so let's get started now. We need to start figuring out who we're going to take first. Whether it's like a, This guy's got medium heavy lasers. They do 50 damage each. This guy's got ER large lasers. They do 60 each. ER mediums that do 35 each. So this guy's got 850 armor. Uh, let's see if we can start with this guy. Um... Let's go this route, I think. We're going to give him a good shot here. See what happens. Position confirmed. Engaging. 105 damage, 103 damage. Boom frack, here we go. Yeah. Is he unstable? I don't think so. He's trying to manage his heat, it looks like. Yeah, now we're forcing him to back up. Keep your back that way. Okay, good. Nice. So, let's get recoil moving now. So, we're going to flank this guy and fire on him. Okay, nice. Three laser hits. Okay, let's work on this other guy now. And we'll fire everything. Because they've got a light mech now. Nice. Their light mech has the choice to go be has to go before us or reserve, which means we get a turn before them. And if I can make this guy unstable this turn. Um, it's a chance to hit here. Uh, not that good. If we can make this guy unstable this turn, then um, ultimately next turn. There we go. Understood. Moving fast. Um, we can hit him before he even um, is be able to be able, able to become stable. So now he's unstable. It looks like. Yep. 
And next turn, we can do an offensive push on him, push him back so we can all go before him and then we can take this guy out. Not sure whether Jager mech is only firing one at a time, but I'm sure he's moving in for an alpha strike here. Yeah, I know we do. Here comes that damn locust. Please be kicking. Okay, nice. 13 points. Do they think they can hurt me? Well, they think they can harass you. Okay, what's that over there? So, 55 tonner. So it doesn't look like the base has any turrets at all, which is great. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so first things first, we want to push this guy back a turn. Um, the best way to do that is yep, with Commander. Recoil, who now I'm getting used to being in this mech. Gonna move into here. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. We're gonna panic this um, Jaeger mech here at the same time. Well, if it was real life, he'd be panicked because now he's being flanked. We're gonna try for a headshot on this guy. Maybe we get lucky. Okay, like we just want to push him back a turn anyway. Okay, he's going down though. Okay. He's not in a position, I don't think, to fire on these guys. I think the forests are giving us an advantage over here. Okay, so we're going to use... God, what do I want to do here now? I know what I want to do, but I'm worried that if I do it, we're going to get in trouble here. Okay, we're going to move forward. We're just going to do it. I just don't like having this, this locust behind us. But we're going to do this. We're going to target the... Nope. We're going to target the right torso and fire. Down to 36. Okay. Okay, Hickory next. That's a pretty good chance to hit. And we're going to take it. Going to fire on this guy. Uh, going to try for this torso. Okay, good. The reason why I was going for the weakened torso, one, not, not just because we can go for the pilot hit, but two, um, I don't think we can kill him uh, this turn. So stripping his other arm off now just reduces him to an ER medium laser. So don't really have to worry so much about him because I want to do this with pylon right here. This guy's got to go. That was a CT hit. Down to 86. Okay, we should be able to hopefully remove this guy on the ground and that guy next turn. Hopefully. The Locust is still harassing us, but we can deal with that. Okay. I'm just worried the Locust is going to get behind us and hit us with a CT hit with the large laser. Okay, here he comes. What's he going to do? Please melee. You know you want to melee. Yeah. See? Exactly what I didn't want to happen. But he didn't hit me this... Okay, he got me the other torso. That's fine. It's just going to take us longer to kill that locust than I, I really want to take to kill him. Maybe
Maybe we get lucky. He's got so much armor, right? Like, it's just ridiculous here. Firing on him. Not so much of a crow now, it's more of a chicken here because he's got no arms. Uh, let's do... Commander. Moving to position. Let's do this. In all Damn, not quite enough. We'll be able to do it next turn, though. He's got 22 left. Okay. Ready for orders. Oh, Pylon can melee all the way down here. Kidding me? Heading out. I added the number 7 to his piloting, which gives him an extra 10% movement. I had forgotten all about that. That extra 10%, I think, just saved our lives here. Okay. Well, not really saved our lives, but really helped out. Okay, cold metal. Um, this is an official chicken move. Only chickens do things like this. Well, maybe chickens and smart players. We're going to move ourselves up here. Oh, can't get them there. And we're going to put our back to the edge of the map <laughs> as best we can. Um, we got to start saving our missiles here. Uh, we got, what, two, four, five and a bit turns left. So... Let's go this route, like this, like this. And fire. Sure, spread it around. Thirty something damage it looked like. So one thing about the Jagermax you don't have to worry about is melee. The damage is really low on those guys, even though they're like sixty five tons. Okay. You notice too, we've been moving back away from the reinforcements coming in. Uh, the goal here was to make sure that they don't uh, close with us. So that we're not fighting them and these guys at the same time. What I need you to do is make sure this guy doesn't get up, please. Okay, there we go. That problem solved. Uh-huh. Commander. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can kill this guy now. Ah, really? Leg hit? Bang, you're dead. Enemy down. <laughs> He's backing up now. Don't blame you, buddy. Don't blame you. Twenty left CT. Uh, we should probably leave the large on. 
Gonna do an offensive push. Go for that CT. Fire. There we go. I hope we can salvage that. <laughs> I don't really care. I just want to survive this mission and get some shit out of it. Okay, let's slowly move forward. We want to make sure we engage on our terms as best we can here. Let's see what they're up to. They got two mediums down here. I'm not sure if they've got any more. Probably though. It is a one skull mission. It looks like they do because no one, nobody moved over there. Yeah, let's get up here, please. Yeah, there they are. We know one's 55 tons. Two lights, two mediums. Yeah. Copy that. Move and brace. I'm worried that I, I don't know if this is the right move. Good to go. Let's see what we're up against. Roger that. We're in the forest. We got lots of evasion. So we've got another locust, which I thought was there. Firestarter 2C. We got four pieces of that guy already. Lacerator, 55 tons, two ultra fives. Two ER mediums and a Storm Crow with an LB 10X. Just looking at armor now. Gonna leave the boomstick off. Just fire the medium lasers on this guy in the tag. Locked on target. Okay, that's a start. Wow, nice shot. Systems holding. Receiving you. That was a CT hit too. At least we have the most amount of armor there. Waiting for orders. Okay, I'm vigilance I'm vigilancing here because I'm gonna melee this guy. And I'm hopefully wanna move before the uh, fire starter. Going after the Locust because of the mobility. Locked on for physical attack. That plus is relatively easy to hit at this moment. Okay, so we're not going to be going before the fire starter. But we might be able to finish this guy up this turn. But we will be going before these two medium mechs, which is a good thing. Sixty-seven. Uh, nope. Yep, right here, I guess. Okay, gonna try and CT this guy. Oh, all four hit. Nice. Down to 50 left in the CT. So we're going to give uh, Recoil the shot at this guy first. If I can shoot my missiles somewhere else, I want to do that. So he's got a pretty good chance here. Going to move in. Going to target the CT and fire. That should do it. Nice. 
Target eliminated. Can't get a direct line of sight on these guys, eh? That's fine. We're going to move up over here. And we're going to hold off firing. We're limited on ammo right now. Uh, we've got about five turns of continuous fire. So let's hold off until we know we can actually utilize it in the best way possible. At 16 and 10%, there's no point. Okay, don't like where he's going, but that's going to open up opportunities, I think. Standing by. And I'm thinking it's against this guy. Let's move. The reason why I went this way is more of our guys can actually move and shoot this guy this turn, whereas this guy in the valley here. We really can't get him unless we all move forward, which is not what I want to do at this point, because that'll bring this guy's guns into play. So we want to target this guy on this side. And we're going to push him back a turn. Just going to use the medium lasers. Going to try for a CT hit, I think. Engaging. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. It's not this turn that I'm really concerned about, it's next turn, because we really want to hit him next turn. Okay, so recoil. What can I do, you fool? Let's get up over here. And same idea. Okay, one hit. CT hit. Okay. Not worried about standing in the open because wow, it's a really low chance to hit too. Um, because we'll be moving again before this fire starter, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's just go with 35, and we'll fire straight on him. Okay. Soften him up a little bit. Hickory can get over here now. Only got five more turns of ammo too, so we have to be careful about that. And that is going to be two medium laser shots firing. Take this. Yeah, <sighs> not much we can do about that, I guess. Okay, buddy. CT him. Well, left arm, left torso, we'll take that. Down to 43 in the back. Yeah. That's a nice alpha strike. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I kind of got that. Yes, come in. I can't get behind him, damn it. All right, let's just hit him. All right, I'll give him the whole nine. 
Oh. That's excellent for us because that will give us a fire starter to see. I hope. Uh, we need to move. Let's give him our crappy side. Since he's gone, we're going to fire everything into this guy. Once again, that is not for anything but stability. Offensive push on this guy. And I'm going to try for CT. Just firing the two medium lasers. Because now we go before him, all of us, next turn. Uh-oh. Comes the melee monkey. 33, okay. Thought maybe he had a bit more juice than that, but apparently not. Apparently not. Um, so, let's take this guy. Hundred and three in the torso. Case okay, tagged. And unstable. So cold metal. Uh, let's move. Nope. Nope. Uh, yep. And everything on this guy. And fire. We should knock him down. What do you need? Moving to position. And everything in the torso. Oh, not that torso, but we'll take it. Get our stability back. This guy again, just gonna CTM. Damn it. Well, we've got the other torso, that's okay. Oh, got the engine too, cool. He's backing up. You do that, buddy. Need more than that. Nice shot, though. Yes, Commander. You know what your job is today, buddy. You know what the job is. That was a CT hit. And that was a kill. So there it is, folks. A One Skull Clan mission that we were able to pull off without too much of a problem. Now all we have to do is occupy the base, and we are done. So recoil, What's would you please, uh, oh you don't quite have enough. Almost. Alright buddy. There it is folks. Excellent. Okay, so that one was relatively flawless, I think. Uh, good example of handle, how to handle the clans. If there was turrets, might have been a different story, especially if they were lobbing LRMs at us. But we seemed to do okay there. We did get penetrated on the one side, but we didn't lose anything or get anything damaged. The upper arm is already damaged on this guy, so we don't really care. Let's have a look here. What else we have? So, in our order to move the series along, I'm thinking we do this. Take four of these. 
Um, unless there's a ton of stuff down here that we want, and it looks like there might be. Like these heavy medium lasers, one ton for 50 damage. Ultra AI. Ultra AC5. Seven tons. Cockpits, endo steel, ferrofibrous, one fusion core, clan double heat sinks, TTS plus two energy. The benefit for this guy is he's got hard points everywhere, right? We can turn him into anything. Let's do it. Uh, and then we'll take 14 times 2. Cluster of 6 projectiles. So wouldn't that be 14 times 6? Plus or minus. I don't like that variable damage. It's kind of weird. Well, that's that's a really nice thing to sell. Two point six million. Uh, what else do we do here? Clown XL engine. Holy shit! Look at the cost of that thing. Yeah, we get more use out of that Klein XL engine, I think, than anything. Uh, so let's go this route. Oh, we got an extra fire starter two C part, two locust two three locust two C parts, Stormcrow part, Stormcrow Prime part, large pulse laser clan, ah, medium heavy laser clan, two medium heavy laser clans, medium pulse. So we got oh, we got an ultra five too, clan cockpit, endo steel. Double heat sink. Okay, so we made out really well. 48 million sea bills worth of salvage. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best mission so far. So we're going to continue. There it is, folks. Okay, so how much you want to bet almost everything in it is destroyed? I'll bet you any money. Let's check it out. 47,000 in repairs. I was expecting a, a lot, but that's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. And before we have a look at that, let's just make sure we manage our tasks here. So we'll be back in eight days, which is good. Financial reports in five, but still, we've got enough money for the financial report, just barely. Uh, let's have a look here at Mech Bay. And the Firestarter 2C <gasps> has got a bunch of stuff still left in it. Let's have a look here. Let's refit this guy. Can't get him fixed yet because we don't have the cash for it, but uh, both arms are still intact. The CT is mostly intact. We have a double heat sink cord engine, which is amazing. Um, it's a clan double heat sink, which is awesome. Cockpit we can be repaired. Ferro fibers can be repaired. So we made out amazingly on this guy. And I'm going to turn him into a barbecue mech. We're going to remove the Gauss rifle and just load this sucker down with flamers. Um, and put him in the light lance. Just use him to barbecue people with. Uh, yeah, that's um, actually quite good. Okay, so we're going to leave that for now. And between episodes, what I'll do is I'll get everything fixed up. Um... I will go through and I'll sell all the junk that we don't want and get a little bit of cash. Hopefully it's going to, actually how much is it going to cost to fix this guy? Probably a fair bit. Oh, not that much at all. 88,000. 
we can start this guy now. Because this Goss clan rifle can come out. And let's confirm this. Because we can make up 91,000 with selling stuff. Right. I'll get it in the skip. So let's have a look in the store real quick. Uh, we're going to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, see, we got like four clan flamers sitting in here already, plus a flamer triple plus. Some fluid guns and stuff, so... Actually, let's... Well, I don't want to sell one of these class... I was going to sell one of the clan goss rivals, and I'm like, eh, I don't think so. Large lasers, five tons. Large pulse. Clan is six. Uh, let's hold on to those for now. What else do we have here? Some of the medium lasers we can sell. we still got lots, so... Let's sell nine. That's almost enough now. Uh, we want to hang on to the machine guns. Mining drill, yes. Small clan. Uh, laser. Small pulse lasers we're going to hang on to. Wrecking balls. Do we need three? Let's just sell one. And we got enough. Perfect. All right, so when we come back next time, we'll take on another mission. Most likely it won't be a clan mission. Um... But uh, we'll take on something else, maybe something a little little tougher in a regular uh, against regular opponents, and see where we go from there. It looks like we might be able to pull our second lance back out into service again. We do have a blackjack now, and we've got the clan fire starter. I'll probably pull the spider out, the wrecking ball spider, and I don't know what else. Pull something else out, not the herby. I think something fast, maybe the flea, something like that, or the firefly. I mean, not the flea. And we'll get our second lance up and running again. They can definitely do conventional one skull missions. Um, but the clan one skulls, we're definitely going to have to leave for our main lance. Yeah, so we're going to head that in that direction. Uh, if you liked the video, drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Our subscriptions are uh, are always a bonus for me. And comments as well. I love having hearing the comments down below. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you all later.